VeChain, the public blockchain that derives its value from activities created by members within the ecosystem solving real world economic problems. Here's their website, guys. If you guys want to read more, understand this cryptocurrency and about what it does, please check out its white paper. Here it is, guys. Um, I have a link below. But guys, let's check out some market information on VeChain. I'm sorry, VTOR token. So VTOR token is at currently at 0 0.003493, market cap $157 million, ranked number 286 on the list. Now, you want some more basic details of market information, just scroll down below. You can see how they have their functionality. Uh, it's the functionality on their blockchain when it comes to uh, their platform. Now, let's get to their market information. They're in Binance, Binance uh, US, Gate.io, CryptoExchange.com, uh, EMEXC, uh, BitVavo, BitMart, uh, Coin, uh, what's it? CoinX, OceanX. So they're on a lot of different platforms, guys. Seems like they're 20 diff like about 27 different ones. So you guys want to uh, see if you guys can get in and out of this uh, tray, uh, cryptocurrency. Well, let's see about this uh, price rating. So they got a triple C. Uh, with stable outlook, that's pretty good when it comes to uh, having a rating. A lot of cryptocurrencies don't have them, especially with its current rank, rank 285 on the list. So it has one, triple C, by stable outlook. Guess what? The details, guys, just uh, click the link below, read more about it and how they give them their rating. I do prefer cryptocurrencies with ratings over the ones that don't. Doesn't mean it's a bad cryptocurrency or good. I just prefer it with just my, one of my own personal preferences. Uh, let's get back to the uh, news, guys. So when it comes to the news, here's a uh, queen market cap news. So you guys can look through, see what's applicable. I will be talking about the news on their uh, Twitter page, guys. But on their website, guys. So if you guys are looking at uh, getting a grant or for uh, provide. Uh, VeChain provides uh, grants for developers and researchers. So if you're looking at getting in part of this uh, cryptocurrency and their grant program, just click the link below. I have it uh, here. And you can read more about the applications and uh, stuff like that. So look at this right here. Just click apply now. Okay. Now let's get to our Twitter page, guys. You have 554,000 followers. So with that many, with the following like that, there's a lot of information that people are already questioning about. So you guys can read and educate yourself about it. And New trading, uh, if, if you're looking to look at the new trading pairs are now available for VTOR. So the VTHO, the VTED, VFUEL, um, RAY, to, uh, SOL. So they have a lot of different uh, uh, trading, uh, different, you know, cryptocurrencies. Kind of like the FX market a little bit. How they have so many different uh, cryptocurrencies they can exchange back and forth. So if you guys want to learn more about that, click the link below. Go to their Twitter page. Also, follow me on Twitter. It's Andre J. McClendon. I talk a lot of political stuff, trading, investing stuff. Not as so much as I do on my Twitter page when it comes to politics, but I do as uh, trading and stuff on my, uh, on my YouTube channel. Let's get to that price prediction, guys. So, VTOR has been taking some uh, uh, punishment, a lot of punishment. You can see, let's see, their high back in April 2020, April 2021, it was sitting, you know, above two cents. Now it is giving us some pain, and I think the pain is going to come even more. And it's going to be a lot. So let's go to the monthly. Check it out. See how that looks. This seems like it has a lot to fall, guys. Like this might be very, very painful. So if you're thinking about buying, I don't think I would be buying right now. If I'm think, if I was going to get into this cryptocurrency at this current price, it would be this would be instant no. It's going to go, in my opinion, it's going to go ahead a whole lot lower. So I'm going to break that down. But here's the monthly how it looks. It does not seem like a very uh, healthy chart up higher unless it's going to engage this much lower support zone. So let's, let's dive right into that, okay? Hit that daily. Okay. So even the daily, you can see the trend, you know, has its uh, pullback. Back down, pullback, and back down to lower lows broke this support right here to build a new floor down here so the new floor is basically at 0 0.0035 and this seems like it's gonna be heading down a very very far lower and less new buyers into the market which it's possible I don't see I don't see my uh, new um, my money inside this cryptocurrency at all not for a while so let's mark this up guys so here's that <clears throat> here's that zone right here so we got a lot of free fall. We got a lot of room right here. I mean, to some people, that may be a good thing because it seems like, you know, the aspect of shorting. I don't like to short all cryptocurrencies. It's just, it's not a big, it's not a big thing for me. I like to 
if I'm going to get uh, to smaller cryptocurrencies, I would buy a dot cost averaging. But for this, I wouldn't even dot cost averaging until I see a whole lot more structure being built. So let's get into that. So this support zone is at 0 0.0016 and I'm sorry, 0 0.001 to 0 0.0016, okay? So we might bounce down all the way down here. Now, if it does that, I don't know how long it will take, but I perceive that it's heading down lower to this uh, price zone. And if it does, there may be a bounce because people are all, you know, buy the dip, buy the dip. Well, buying the dip may be good temporarily, but it might not last. It might head down even lower. And if it dips down lower, guys, this might be very, very painful, especially for people who buy anywhere up above here because they might take in a 50%, 80% haircut at those prices right here, okay? So at the current price at 0 0.0035, if it heads down lower and does not build support, I'm going to do my first... Uh, price alert at 0 0.003 second price alert 0 0.0025 and all the way down here my last price alert will be 0 0.00414 now 0 0.0014 is my uh, price target my price prediction I think it's gonna hit this price 0 0.0014 if it hits that price it's possibly going to bounce I will not put a buy limit in there because it might not bounce it might just head down lower so if it does do that and bounces, I will get my you know my three price alerts. I'm going to get on the charts. I'm going to look at it. Be like, okay, seems like it bounced. Cool. And if it holds and maintains it and it builds higher structure up, I can possibly look at doing a buy stop. Not a buy limit, not a, a market entry, but a buy stop. I want to buy within the trend that's being built up so it goes higher highs, back to higher highs. But if it doesn't do that and heads down lower, I won't be affected by the trade because I want more structure. I want more money to be basically into this cryptocurrency because if it doesn't i'll just head down lower because people are exiting the positions and i don't want to be a part of that market so guys remember my uh price target is going to be uh down uh, my price prediction is the uh, 0 0.0014 that's that's my opinion so if you have any thoughts or questions about that guys and how and why i place my price alerts just let me know. I still don't want to. I just want to avoid an easy loss. Seems like a very easy loss. And you know, if you guys are in the market of shorting, it's a possibility up there for you. Uh, if you guys are into that stuff, yeah. For me, no. And that small cryptocurrency like Bitcoin, shorting Bitcoins, then yeah, it's way easier. You can easily get out. You don't have to worry about problems like that. But but this one may be issues with the broker and stuff on that end. But that's the price prediction, guys. Let's get to my website. Uh, my website's AndreJamesClinton.com. If you guys want a uh, free stock, cryptocurrency, or a forest trading account, click the links below. Uh, you get a kick egg, and so, so do I. But let's get to the, some free indicators. Some indicators I back tested. So you trade on MetaTrader 4 or 5. Here's some ones that you get. You guys can use. Also, if you guys are looking for a custom indicator or robot, EA, let me know. I do program them. We can talk about it. And uh, that's it, guys. Please like and subscribe. Drop a comment below. Let's have a conversation about this cryptocurrency. And I'll see you guys in the next video.